Feel like I'm on my camera shit. Jewels! <laughs> you heard? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Man, you corny! What it is, what it do, it's your boy Build a Go, it's your homie Build a Go. Yes, I'm back again. Yeah, I know you're surprised. Damn, this thing got two channels. Damn, what the hell going on? Why he doing this? Well, the reason why is because I want to strictly keep this as a shoe, vlogs, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you guys don't mind going to the second channel, I'll believe the description. And, you know, in the description below, um, your boy is making a reaction channel. So if you guys don't mind subscribing to that channel as well, I'll appreciate it. But today I want to bring you guys my top five, you know what I'm saying? You know, my top five shoes that's in my collection this is not going in any order if you guys have your top five you know what i'm saying go ahead slide in the damn comment section below tell me your top five like i said this would not be in any type of order um this is my opinion and if you guys don't like it y'all can eat it but <laughs> um we're gonna go ahead and just get straight to it i'm trying to make this quick i'm trying to you know do what i gotta do so we're gonna go ahead and get into the shoe i would like to bring up and I say I bought this shoe at least like a good three times. You guys probably seen it in one of my reviews. Is the Jordan Varsity Red 6. The 2010 version or the 2009. It's one of those. I know they came out with a pack and then they came out with a separate shoe. Um, yes, the Jordan 6 Varsity Red. I do love this shoe. I will put in my rotation. This is damn near like a beater kick to me. I will beat these and they will still look good. If you keep the suede intact, you'll be fine. But the bread colorway is amazing. It matches with anything you wear. I don't care what type of pants you wear, what type of shirt you wear. You can wear anything you want. You can be butt naked, nigga. You know what I'm saying? With some Nike socks on and these shoes and they'll still come out like a player ass kick. But you know, long story short, I bought this shoe at least like a good three times. This is my third time buying these shoes. Um, you know what I'm saying? I sold one pair. This is the true size for me, actually, because I bought one pair, size 12. Um, you know, it was beat, but that was the year 2000 with the Nike Air on the back. If you guys didn't see that review, go ahead, check out my videos and go see it. Um, the second one, it was a size 12. I did like them. The suede was amazing. But I need the cash and I had OG everything to it, so I sold it. And now this is the third pair. I caught them for like $80, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you guys see the bottoms, they are piss yellow, but I feel like it adds more character, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, the Air Jordan Varsity Red 6 2010 or 2009 version. I don't know which one it is. I have to look at the production date. But we're gonna go ahead and go into the next. Like I said, if you guys haven't seen it in the review, or haven't just seen it on my feet, whatever. Now you guys are about to see it. This, my friends, is the Air Jordan 12 suede flu game. I feel like these are the real flu games. They did, I believe, drop in 2003 with, you know, if you guys can see that, the sick face emoji right there. 2-3 going down. Actually, not the 2-3 going down the bottom. 97, 38, or 30, yeah, 38, sorry. Uh, I'll be mixing up my stuff, but with that also with the 97, you know, he dropped 97, uh, not 97 points. He dropped 38 points with the flu in 97. That's why this is on the side of the Air Jordan symbol for the whole suede. I love the suede on these uh, clean uppers. Um, you know, I don't mind wearing this kick. Like I said, this goes with everything, any colorway that you have. Um, if you guys, you know, like the shoe, buy the shoe. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you have. I don't care what you get. Um, this right here is an amazing shoe. I believe you could catch these for a plug because they did come out with the leather pair, I believe, in 2016. Um, you know, like I said, bread colorway, amazing colorway. 12 is my favorite silhouette. I do appreciate it. I buy every 12 that I have. I wish I still have all my 12s, but when the money calling, I'm sorry, the money calling. But like I said, the Air Jordan 12 flu game, the best Air Jordan 12, not silhouette, but between the leather version and suede version, this is the best colorway of them all. And we're gonna go ahead 
and get into the next shoe. Now, the next shoe, I like, I appreciate it. Um, the best fall kick that came out, dropped in 2011. Like I said, I do wear my kicks, don't mind how they are shaped. They were in a container for about like a year or two. Um, haven't worn this season, this fall season at all. Um, I do need another pair. If you guys have another pair in a 2011 version, that's the only one I do not like the 2015 version, please let me know. Um, is the Air Jordan 7 Bordeaux colorway to uh, 2011 version. Um, I do like this. This is the best version to me, to be honest. Um, because the gray midsole right here, that's the best thing on here that complements it. I do not like the OG colorway. I'm sorry to say that. The suede, like I said, is still intact. It is amazing. Uh, I know both of the tongues um, come in a different type of pattern throughout every shoe that got manufactured by them. Even on the 2015 version, it's probably rare to find the same matching kicks with the same uh, tongue, to be honest, same stitch tongue. I do like the maroon uh, hits better on this one, but I do like the olive on it as well. It's a hint of olive on the bottom of the shoe, but I wish I had a hint of olive in this instead of blue. Um, like I said, nice fall kick, nice summer kick. As long as you got some type of burgundy on, or all black on, this shoe pops. I don't care what nobody said. Like I said, this is the best version. I'm sorry, this is a, like, it's damn near beat, but I'll still wear them. Yes, this is a seven year old shoe, I don't care. This is one of the best Jordan 7 silhouettes that, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm glad it got the little olive hits in the back. Like I said, tongue stitching, way different. If you could find a pair, like that's fucking rare to be honest um also like i said if you guys have a air jordan 7 bordeaux 2011 in like a 8 or a 9 condition size 13 please let me know i sold my other pair i should have sold this pair to be honest but like i said i needed the cash we gonna go ahead and get into the next shoe. i was on the fence about it and really i was hoping that they called me about them but i was really on the fence like damn i should resell these keep them dead stock for the whole time but once I wore them, I never stopped wearing them. Um, you know, in the condition that they are, they're not that bad to be honest. Um, I do love this colorway. I do need the bread colorway and the shattered backboard and also the off-white colorway. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. The Air Jordan 1 Royal 2017 version. Uh, I'm gonna say, I never seen, like I couldn't compare the shattered backboard material to this one because I haven't had one in my hands or in my possession, but to be honest, I'm gonna say this leather is A1, you know, A1 steak sauce. Um, black hits, royal hits, white, uh, come with blue laces. I wouldn't pick, I wouldn't put the blue laces. I'll probably mismatch it, probably put one blue, one black. I don't care, but this is one of the best Air Jordan ones. To be honest, you could beat them like everybody say. You can beat these things to death. Beat them and they still look good, in my opinion and in everybody else's opinion. If you guys don't agree with me, go ahead and let me know. Do you guys wear like the little shield toes so it won't bend up with the leather? If you see, it's probably a little major creasing throughout the shoe. I don't care. This shoe is amazing. If you guys <laughs> don't have at least a Jordan 1 in your collections, I prefer you guys to go buy one just to go wear it see how you like it if not go ahead and sell it um like I said the Air Jordan 1 2017 Royal there's nothing else to say if you guys have this kick please go ahead and try to see how they feel um I believe these are actually like they ain't reselling for that much right now but they getting up there because it's a Royal and when they you know they manufactured a lot of them but you never see them no more you know what i'm saying like the breads that came out in 2016 the bread toes that just came out now you don't really see them reselling like that much i prefer you guys to go get them now while they still are out supposedly um maybe they'll do a restock 
possibly not. They barely do restocks for Air Jordan 1 sometimes, but like I said, this kick right here, A1, they are supposed to be coming out with like, I believe, uh, Air Jordan Royal. It's like a uh, like a black toe, basically. Um, what else is there to say? It's an Air Jordan 1. You could beat this kick and it still looks stylish. You could wear it with anything, to be honest. You could go ahead and get into the last kick. Like I said, these shoes are in particular order, um, but if you guys like the video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, like I said, this shit isn't in particular order. This is not in no type of category order. Um, I'm just picking my shoes that I prefer that is my top five. That's the smooth colorways um, that I will wear, you know, consciously. And the next shoe that I have right here is the Air Max. I know you wondering like, damn, an Air Max? Yes, bro, Air Max, because mostly that whole collection was damn near J-Bones. Um, the Air Max Ultra 2017 version, the gold in a gold colorway. Um, smooth silhouette, I do have another Air Max in my collection, but I did choose this one. Um, mainly the reason why I chose this one is because my girl got it for me for Christmas, and I do appreciate you. Baby, I love you, Kanye, you know who you are, but I do love the gold hits on this shoe. It's amazing. Um, I did do it on foot. If you guys don't mind going to look at that video as well, I do appreciate it. But you know, that's the main reason. But the colorway is amazing. The laces are amazing. 3M hits are amazing as well. Black bottoms, if you guys don't mind looking at that. Uh, red check mark, gold around it. It's a smooth colorway. It's smooth for the summer. It's smooth for the fall really subtle for the fall but it pops out in the summer or springtime when it's not muddy or rainy or nothing like that um you know gold midsole wrapped around the whole 360 air unit smooth ass colorway i do appreciate this colorway and i do like them i do need a pair of silver bullets because you know what i'm saying um silver bullets i had them sold them once again just needed the cash and it wasn't my size size 12 if you got them silver bullets silver bullets not the ultra silver bullets the regular ones the og ones if you got it if you guys got them please let me know i'm sorry i'm talking so fast i just gotta get done with this video um but like i said let me know size 13 um like i said i do love this shoe and i do appreciate her for getting me these for christmas as well and i hope she liked her gift we're gonna go ahead and end the video off right there if you guys like the video, if you guys like my top five, if you guys have your own top five, um, please let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like the videos, if you guys continue to like the videos, go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe, you know, bring new people to, you know, my channel, I'm trying to get up to at least 200 by the end of March. You know what I'm saying? So we just gonna keep going 100 by 100 by 100 by 100. I do end up or wanting to end up having 5,000 by the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay consistent on both channels. Um, I should just be working on one, but hey, I mean, if you guys like the reactions, go ahead, go to the reaction channel. If you guys like the shoe vids and the vlogs, stay on this channel. But I do appreciate everybody that follow me. Thank you for 100 subscribers. I do appreciate it. If you guys like the videos, like I said, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Give me your top five in the comment section below. It's your boy, Build a Goat, and I'm signing out. Peace.